Those residing in proximity to fault lines are well aware of the perilous potential of earthquakes. Experiencing the unsettling realization that there is nowhere to escape when the ground trembles in every direction is a harrowing sensation. Yet, an equally disquieting sentiment lingers even in moments of tranquility, when everything appears normal. It involves the foreboding awareness that, at some point in the future, the region will be struck by a colossal earthquake surpassing all previous ones. Certain locations on Earth are identified by scientists as imminent sources of exceptionally powerful earthquakes. The timing of these seismic events remains uncertain, whether it unfolds in five days, five years, or five centuries. What is certain, however, is that these earthquakes have the potential to incur not only significant financial costs, but also a profound toll in terms of lives lost. From California to Japan, here are five massive earthquakes that are waiting to happen. Number 5. San Andreas Fault Earthquake People of California are well acquainted with the phenomenon of earthquakes. While the majority may go unnoticed, some can escalate to significant intensities. In the year 2020 alone, there was a seismic event registering at 6.5 magnitude, along with 12 others ranging between 5.0 and 6.0, accompanied by thousands of smaller tremors. Experiencing earthquakes is an inherent aspect of life in California, though occasional reminders of the severity, such as the 8.3 magnitude quake in 1906 claiming nearly 3,000 lives, or the 7.4 magnitude event in 1980 causing extensive damage amounting to millions of dollars, underscore the potential risks. In discussions about earthquakes in California, the looming prospect of the big one invariably arises, fueled by scientific predictions that areas near the San Andreas Fault might be on the brink of a seismic event of monumental proportions. Stretching approximately 800 miles in length and reaching depths of nearly 10 miles, this fault line is the convergence point of two significant tectonic plates engaged in a perpetual grinding motion. While certain segments of the fault exhibit gradual movement at around 2 inches per year, others remain securely locked in position for extended periods. Scientists speculate that these locked areas could unleash seismic energy unexpectedly, surpassing the magnitude of all preceding earthquakes. The potential for damage is heightened by the fault's proximity to densely populated regions. Fortunately, nothing has happened as of yet, and the earthquakes that happen in the area are small in comparison to what is to come. Number 4. Hayward Fault Earthquake California is home to another significant fault line known as the Hayward Fault, a fissure in the Earth's crust spanning approximately 62 miles and situated in the San Francisco Bay Area. Despite the prevalent discussions surrounding the San Andreas Fault, the U.S. Geological Survey deems the Hayward Fault a tectonic time bomb. According to their assessment, it represents the most perilous urban fault zone in the country, carrying the potential to trigger earthquakes capable of devastating entire cities. The Hayward Fault typically experiences earthquakes of magnitude 6.8 or greater every 140 to 170 years on average. The last major earthquake along this fault occurred in 1868, indicating that the Bay Area is overdue for another significant seismic event. Notably, the population density has significantly increased since the 1868 quake, posing a heightened risk to human life in the event of a future earthquake in the coming years. Furthermore, the proliferation of cities and towns in the region has escalated the potential financial ramifications of such a catastrophic event to unprecedented levels. However, there's no need for immediate concern, as the timing of this impending earthquake remains uncertain, and the likelihood of it occurring within our lifetime is uncertain. Estimates suggest that if an earthquake akin to the intensity of the 1868 event were to occur today, the resulting economic losses would surpass any earthquake in American history. Given the proximity of major urban centers such as San Francisco, San Jose, and Oakland, the projected damages could easily exceed a staggering $165 billion. Number 3. Sumatran Fault Line Earthquake For those well-versed in seismic activity, 
Indonesia stands out as one of the most volatile regions on Earth. The heightened activity in this area is attributed to the convergence of not just two, but three tectonic plates, the Eurasian, Australian, and Pacific plates. Approximately 130 miles off the western coast of the country lies the remarkably active Sumatran fault line, running adjacent to the majority of Indonesia's volcanoes and serving as the epicenter for most seismic occurrences. In 2004, a profoundly potent undersea earthquake occurred along this fault line, where the Indo-Australian tectonic plate was sliding beneath the Eurasian plate. The sudden movement displaced an immense volume of water, unleashing a tsunami toward the coast. Upon reaching the shore, the tsunami wrought extensive damage and claimed the lives of over 50,000 people. Descriptions of the earthquake indicated that it generated energy equivalent to 23,000 atomic bombs, the size of those dropped on Hiroshima. In the aftermath of the 2004 incident, scientists and geologists have heightened their concerns, apprehensive that the earthquake may have elevated pressure on other segments of the Sumatran Fault. This escalation raises the specter of more formidable earthquakes, imperiling hundreds of thousands of lives. Scientists anticipate the possibility of another substantial earthquake, with the city of Padang identified as a potential epicenter and an expected intensity of 8.5 or higher. Such an event would not only reverberate through Indonesia, but also pose the threat of unleashing another devastating tsunami toward neighboring countries. Residents in these regions are strongly advised to be prepared and remain vigilant. Number 2. Cascadia Subduction Zone Earthquake Off the western coast of Canada lies the Cascadia Subduction Zone, a formidable 600-mile-long fault stretching from the northern reaches of California to British Columbia, situated approximately 100 miles offshore. While not known for frequent seismic activity, with only 41 recorded earthquakes in the last 10,000 years, this fault line carries an ominous designation as a megathrust fault earning it the reputation of a ticking time bomb within the geological community. In this region, the Pacific Tectonic Plate experiences relatively limited movement against the Juan de Fuca Plate. However, when these plates do shift and interact, the resulting energy is potent enough to rapidly thrust significant portions of the Earth upward. Such thrusts have historically led to devastating tsunamis. The scenario would parallel that of California, with numerous large cities experiencing the repercussions of this geological activity. Nevertheless, the states most vulnerable to the impact of the Cascadia subduction zone's seismic activity are Alaska and Hawaii. Tsunami waves, potentially exceeding 80 feet in height, would unleash tremendous force, claiming the lives of thousands and rendering many more homeless. The last significant earthquake in this area occurred in 1700, estimated to be a magnitude 9.0 event. This earthquake triggered a tsunami that traversed the Pacific Ocean, causing damage along the Japanese coast. Seismic events of this magnitude typically occur every few hundred years, raising concerns that the region may be overdue for another significant earthquake with potentially catastrophic consequences. Number 1. Japan's Pacific Coast Earthquake Japan, geologically challenged by the convergence of four tectonic plates, stands as a country familiar with seismic activity. This convergence gives rise to multiple fault lines, making Japan one of the most earthquake-prone regions on Earth, with many earthquakes considered major. The 1923 Great Kanto earthquake struck near Tokyo and Yokohama, densely populated cities, claiming the lives of approximately 130,000 people. In 1995, another significant earthquake hit the Kobe region. However, the most devastating earthquake in Japan's history occurred in 2011 when a 9.1 magnitude quake struck just off the coast, generating a massive tsunami that claimed over 20,000 lives and led to the Fukushima nuclear power plant meltdown. These events underscore the daily peril faced by the Japanese people. What raises concern among scientists is the cumulative stress these earthquakes impose on other parts of the tectonic plates. When numerous tectonic plates converge in a single area, 
Even the slightest movement in one plate can exert immense stress on another. The frequent occurrence of large earthquakes raises the possibility of additional stresses in other sections of fault lines, although identifying precisely which fault lines are affected remains a mystery due to the complexity of the geological interactions. One area of concern is the Tokai Suruga Bay region along Japan's Pacific coast. Scientists suggest that this region, where the Philippine plate is subducting beneath the Eurasian plate, forming a subduction zone, could be at risk. Subduction zones are recognized as some of the most hazardous and volatile areas for seismic activity. Scientists estimate that the Tokai Suruga Bay region is overdue for a magnitude 8 or higher earthquake, based on historical data indicating ruptures in 1854 and 1707 in this particular area. Absolutely, the possibility of another mega earthquake is plausible but not guaranteed. The awareness of residing in an area prone to seismic activity can indeed evoke a sense of helplessness, especially considering the unpredictable nature of earthquakes. While it may be disconcerting, efforts are focused on enhancing our understanding of seismic phenomena. The development and implementation of advanced detection parameters play a crucial role in mitigating the impact of earthquakes, potentially saving lives in the long run. While preventing earthquakes remains beyond our control, advancements in technology and scientific understanding contribute to early warning systems and preparedness measures that can make a significant difference in minimizing the consequences of these natural disasters.